What's up guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I want to show you the most advanced way that you can use to generate the highest quality images of your AI influencers and actually as you can see you can literally generate 100 images of your AI influencers at once using this super complex workflow that you do not need to understand at all you only need to input the image and that way you will get the highest quality results as you can see. And actually, if you look at the images, you can see that those images are super detailed. They do not have a fucked up hands. They do not have fucked up eyes. And the reason for it is that if you look closely to the actual workflow, you see that we have many fixes implemented so you can actually get the best possible quality. Because one of the things that gives the AI image away the most is the weird eyes, weird face, weird hands. But during all of this, all of those things get fixed and you are able to get the best possible result. So what's this video gonna be about? As you probably know, until now, I have given everything absolutely for free because the reason is I didn't want to sell some half assed product. I didn't want to sell information that you can ask ChatGPT when the OnlyFans gurus charge you for their course, you know, and stuff like this. And I literally have DMs of people asking me, how can they give me money? Like, what can I do more for them? So now is the time and I actually want to show you that I can confidently say that I can give you the best possible workflows there are for dataset creation, for face swap, for batch image generation, for detailing on the skin and other things. And also we have a special workflow to bypass AI detection on Instagram. So actually you can see that your account will not get banned. One of the cool things that you can actually see that at the end of this workflow, we have synthesized and saved with authentic metadata. And you can actually choose which location is gonna be hidden in the metadata of your photo. So your photo actually looks legit as a real woman took it. And before we start the actual video, to be 100% transparent, I'm not the one who developed the workflows. I have partnered with other people to develop the workflows to actually test them. And I'm getting 25% of the money if you buy our product. And now I actually want to show you the process, how I personally use the workflows to get the best possible quality and actually to replicate the most viral images on Instagram. So you don't have to guess what body type should you use. You only change it a little bit so it's not copyrighted and you are good to go. So first of all, what you're gonna do is go to Instagram and download the images from the model you want to get it inspired from. You are not copying anyone, you are just getting inspired because from this, we are not going to use this image to face swap. We are only gonna use it so we can actually create prompts that resemble this image. And how we do that is that we are going to use Grok. We are gonna put in our character description that can be generated from our image. And we are gonna scroll down. And you can also tell the Grok to always modify the prompt a little bit so it resembles your character more. And because we have this character description, which is the description of our woman, and we also have included the Laura keyword, then the prompts will be generated just like that. Now you just scroll down, put generate prompts, and in a while you will see that you will get a description of this image with the change that you have the Laura keyword on the start and you have the characteristics of your AI character. And as you can see, now we can click add to badge. Now we are using just two images, but you can use 100 as you have seen previously. So once you add it to batch, the only thing left to do is to synchronize everything. And now you can just press run. You don't give a shit about all of these things. You do not need to understand it. The important thing from all of this is that you will get the best possible result. You see now it loads the image and now we are going to wait a few minutes. And when I get the result, I'm going to get back to you. So now, as you can see, in a few minutes, the process of generating has actually begun and it is taking the inspiration from the image and making it better, better and better every iteration. And in the top left corner, you can see that there is some detail or debug. And now it is going to do all the fixes to get the best possible quality. So now I'm going to stop the workflow because you have seen the images at the start of this video. 
we are going to get this result. You are going to get the absolute same result as I did if you use the setting which I now used. The other thing that I want to cover is actually dataset creation and the most advanced face swap there is. The thing is, if you don't have a LoRa trained and you decide to train your own LoRa to get the absolute best quality that you can, you need to somehow create the dataset for the training of the model, right? And if you do not have a trained LoRa, then you cannot generate the images of your AI influencers with the highest possible quality. The problem with normal face folds is that if you actually choose an image that has a hourglass physique, for example, huge boobs and similar things, the models like SeaDream and NanoBanana tend to make them smaller. But this workflow fixes this exact same problem because we are going to mask only the face and the rest of it stays the same. So first of all, I'm gonna upload a character image, and then I'm gonna upload an image that I want to swap my character to. So this can be, for example, another image you downloaded from Instagram, or this can be like artificially created images by AI. It doesn't really matter. In the modex selector, I'm gonna choose Nano Banana Pro, and now I'm just gonna run the workflow, and you will see the masks appearing and you will see the actual heavy lifting that is happening to get the best possible precision face swap and not actually change the body of your AI influencer. And now we can actually see that the face has been masked precisely for the swapping. If it wouldn't be correct, then you can, you know, change the masks a bit. But AI does it very carefully. Now we can do send once again and wait a bit. Now we can look at the actual process. You see that we have the image. We can look at the before and after, but this is still not the final result. Now there is some more masking, hair masking, other masking, you know, all of the stuff you don't need, do not need to understand. And now you can see that the face swap is finished. And this way we are eligible to get a consistent character without even a LoRa. But of course, if you do this, then the rest of the image doesn't change at all. So we can have copyright issues. That's why I only recommend that you use those images to train your data set, to train a LoRa, and then use the one workflow that I showed in the beginning of the video to actually generate the images that you are going to use for Instagram. Also, the thing is that this is using Nano Banana Pro, so every request is going to cost you 14 cents. If you are going to use the workflow from the start of the video with a trained LoRa, it is absolutely for free because it is a local model running on your computer. And now let's say that you really don't want to train Elora, but you still want to be able to get consistent images and consistent faces, and you are okay with just 95% of the quality instead of 100%. Well, for that, I'm going to show you the batch image generation workflow that actually uses our prompt library that has 8,000 prompts to get the best possible realism on your images. So first of all, I'm going to upload an image once again. Now I will go to the prompt generator. I'm going to generate prompts. I'm going to use Gemini. I'm going to upload my character once again into the character reference image. And now I can enable character consistency. I can actually remove this and hit generate from image. And this will generate the description of my character that is actually going to be used in those prompts later. You see that it has generated everything we needed. We are going to choose creative style because we are going to be creating new images. For the model instructions, we are going to do Nano Banana Pro full edit. And here in the your instructions, this is actually the most exciting thing about it all. You can write whatever prompt you want. And actually the way how it works, the Nano Banana Pro full edit is that this is a master prompt that changes your instructions to actually get super good prompt and you will get super good images. So for example, you want to put her in the gym. Now this is a super basic prompt, but because we have the master prompt, this will actually generate good gym pictures. Also, what I forgot to do is that we need to duplicate it a little bit so we can actually get more images. And now when I hit generate prompts, we will get four completely new prompts based on our 7,000 prompts and based on your instructions and on the image of your AI influencer. Now you can see that four completely new prompts have been generated. The prompts are a reference to our character. Now we will add those prompts to the batch. We go more up and now we hit generate all images. We are going to hit OK. 
and now we just wait. And you will see that you have now created a high quality images without any LoRa training. Okay, we have a slight issue at the last prompt. The reason is that we are using Gemini. You can also use Grog, but I forgot. And I use Gemini and Gemini blocks as suggestive or not safe for work images. So if you would want to generate not safe for work images with this, with you, that you actually can do, the only thing that you need to do is when you go to generate prompts, you need to select Grok model. And if you select Grok model, you will need to input Grok API key. And now you see that the images of our AI influencers have been generated. And we can actually take a look at those images. And you see these are like super amateurish, super, you know, like realistic. I really like it about the prompts. The only thing a little bit missing now is the body of the AI influencer. This is the thing with the Nano Banana Pro. If you don't use face swap and you don't train Elora, it is quite difficult to get, you know, the good body for the AI influencer you want, but this can be like a good start and then you can use it to change the body. So yeah, I don't wanna stretch this video for too long, but as you can see, we also have some workflows that, for example, combine SDXL, which is a super good NSFW model with one that has like super good skin texture. So we were able to get the highest quality, not safe for work images. But for certain reasons, of course, I cannot show this on YouTube. So if you want to get more details, don't forget to join our Discord. And if you actually ask us on the Discord about the not safe for work workflows, we can show you the demo and we can tell you more. So yeah, this is the end of the video. As I said, these are the best workflows currently there are because no one has the batch generators, no one has the prompt library, and no one has this advanced shit that actually took months to create and perfect to get the best possible results. You know, the thing is that you can actually go to Seadream and generate images, you know, just like this, but in a while, everyone is gonna do it and everyone's images are gonna look the same. This is the reason why you want to get the best possible quality. And as the title suggests, if I would start creating AI influencers again in 2026, here is what I would do. This is actually what I would do. I would go, I would buy this, I would learn how to use Confi UI a little bit because you do not need to know how, to, how the nodes work, how to connect everything, it's all done for you. As, I, as you saw in my video, I only inputted the image and then I press run and everything was done. I, I didn't need to understand anything, you know? So I would actually go, I would buy it, I would learn how to use it, and I would start generating images of my AI influencer straight away. To be honest with you guys, when I first started this in August, I think it was, I was like super over overwhelmed. I like didn't know where to start, what to do, what workflows to use, what is the best workflow, what is the best model, should I use this, should I use this, how, how to monetize everything, how to do this, how to train a model. And I was so confused that I wanted to quit. But I decided to keep learning, to keep giving everything for free, as I did in my previous YouTube videos, to make your journey easier. And now we decided to make the best possible workflows. I can confidently say that there is nothing better. Because the thing is, like, if you face swap a little bit of images, you train a LoRa, and then you use the one model, for example, the workflow that I've shown on the start of the video, you can just do this wait for a bit and you have 100 images generated so if you are interested in the description there is a link to our discord you can go to start here to actually buy the vip and we will be able to send you the workflows if you have any questions drop them in the comments and i'm gonna see you at the next one bye